Hey, what's up? It's Kali, and I just wanted to talk to you about my new project called Locked Out. It's a story about a guy who talks to his girlfriend a lot, and it's corona season, and he has to put on a mask, and his phone doesn't recognize his face with a mask on. So he learns from watching a video with modern day technology that he's able to unlock his phone face ID with his iPhone. Um, I thought this would be pretty interesting to make as a story simply because of the times we live in. As we are content creators, there are more Apple users uh, in the field of practice. Um, not to say Android isn't reliable, but it's just the more common choice. So I thought this would be a goofy uh, pun, a, a spoof, and I just thought of something simple, like uh, what could be so simple and so petty, which brought me to the idea of creating a genre called petty films, where just like the smallest, simplest things that just, that just twist us and make them as visuals so that we could look back and laugh or enjoy or embrace, you know, say, I felt like that before once, you know, just, it was just all made out of fun and humor uh, and, and, and just creative thoughts. So the process of making, making lock, Locked Out, it was pretty easy for the most part. Um, I was able to set everything up on a tripod. I had assistance. Um, at the time of shooting it, I shot this in two different locations. Um, I had, I had just relocated back to Texas and I was waiting for, uh, my house to be finished, uh, being remodeled so that I was able to move in, uh, my house, the new home I was renting. So I actually shot this at two different locations and it was just, it came out well, you know what I'm saying? You, you couldn't tell uh, offhand that I shot these in two different locations because one was indoor, the other was outdoor. So I created, I create, I learned that I could create worlds within filmmaking by doing that. And it felt good. It made me feel good about uh, what I was doing and, and more confident in my craft. Um, the hardest part was trying to record myself when I didn't have the assistance and I had just cut my hair off at the time. So I had to change the idea of my script. It wasn't originally planned for me to go from having dreads to being bald. You know, life just happens that way. Uh, but I, I felt I, I felt confident in what I was doing in my creative craft that I went ahead and implemented that into the story with the text bubbles. Um, everybody seemed to like that. It's just like as I look at this, more ideas that come from it. Uh, I feel like it add more to it. I feel like I could recreate this um, in a way and make it presentable to everyone. It's just a short little comedy of just like the petty little things, you know? Um, but the hardest part was when I had to record it myself and my tripod legs got loose. Like it, it, it got really hard because then it became time management plus guerrilla tactics. But I was able to get everything done and the editing process was, was probably the easiest. Um, there's a lot more sounds I wish I could have added. Uh, I felt that I probably shorted myself a little bit on that. Um, but overall, I'm happy with what I've done. And the Easter egg is that I want to show you guys when you listen to the intro. That is an acapella group. Uh, 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 uh. A, a, a group of folk that mimicked all the iPhone sounds and I thought it would be perfect for the video. So here, check it out right here.
咚当当当当当当当当当当当当当。叮咚咚咚当当当当，叮咚咚当当当当当当，叮咚咚当当当当当当，叮咚咚当当当当当当，叮咚咚当当当当当当当。That was awesome, right? <laughs> yeah. So I just, you know, went to YouTube Downloader. I dragged the audio into the project, and boom, I had my intro for my movie. And it came out well. So if you guys watched it and you enjoyed it, I appreciate it. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead, check it out. Let me know what you think I could have done better. Uh, let me know what you liked about it. And I'm looking forward to checking out your videos as well. Peace.